You are about to begin your DynaSplint instructional video, but just a note before we start. Most of the time, DynaSplint systems are a rental product, and you are responsible to return it at the end of your treatment so that you're not charged for the replacement cost of the splint. When your doctor, therapist, and DynaSplint sales consultant agree that your treatment is complete, please view the simple How to Return Your DynaSplint video located at the bottom of this page. The shipping's prepaid and your label's in the box. Now, let's get started. Welcome to DynaSplint. Congratulations and thank you for choosing us to help you restore your range of motion. We hope you find these videos helpful and easy to follow. Please refer to the labeling, tension setting, and positioning your Dynasplint consultant set for you on your initial fitting. Thank you, and we hope to stretch beyond your expectations. While seated with your leg in front of you, open the front of thigh, shin, and two counterforce straps. Place the Dynasplint under the affected leg. Align the cams with the knee joint. Attach the Dynasplint system to the leg by feeding the counterforce straps around the struts on the opposite side. Pull back and fasten the straps snugly. Feed the shin cuff through the D-wire on the opposite side. Fasten the Velcro sides together. Repeat for the top of thigh cuff. To readjust and tighten the counterforce straps, pull up with both hands on the cams. Free one hand and pull one strap snug. Repeat the procedure with the other strap. Check the cuffs for tightness. You should be able to slide a finger between your leg and the Dynasplint system. Check alignment. The tubes should line up along the center of the side of the leg. The cams should be aligned at the center of the sides of the knee. You should be inactive and relaxed while wearing the Dynasplint system. The splinted leg should not hang down. The most comfortable position is either lie on your unaffected side with a pillow between your legs or to elevate the splinted leg in a supported position with a pillow under the calf and ankle, not under the knee. In order to remove your Dynasplint, simply open the front straps and cuffs. Slide the splint out from under your leg. Please review the tension your Dynasplint sales consultant set for you initially. In the beginning, the splint should be worn for two to four hours. Do not increase the tension until you can tolerate overnight wear. Time is the most important factor, and your first goal should be six to eight hours of pain-free wear. After achieving this time goal, when you take the splint off, if you have less than one hour of stiffness, turn the tension up by one on both sides. However, if you are unable to wear the splint for a prolonged period of time, decrease the tension by a half to one full turn. During the process of regaining your range of motion, if you have any questions or concerns, contact your Dynasplint representative.